Hey everybody, Keith K here. Welcome back to the South Pacific and another Stranded Deep tutorial. Today we're going to do a cooking masterclass. We're going to look at each of the cooking structures. Um, I have uh, made a cooking tutorial before, but some mechanics have changed, so I just want to be able to talk through that, um, have it all here in one place. I will um, link to the times down below um, if you want to jump ahead to a specific structure. Uh, this game is, is fun, uh, but one of the challenges with it is the game mechanics do change uh, time to time. So just wanted to provide an updated cooking tutorial um, and address some of the things that I've seen in some of my older videos. Um, you will need meat uh, to, to cook, so um, I will also link here to both my hunting tutorial and my fishing tutorial um, as ways to to, ca to catch meat. You can also build a bird snare. That's another way to um, to get uh, food without actually having to put much effort into it. Uh, they'll just catch themselves for you. So uh, that's the setup here. If you uh, do enjoy this channel, please uh, give us a like and subscribe and let's get to it. All right, and we've got a section of beach here where we're gonna set up each of these uh, cooking um, structures. So if you go to your crafting menu, uh, you, which is uh, C on the PC, you'll make sure that you are in your structures uh, menu. And we're gonna take a look at fire, fire pit, smoker, and hobo stove. So first up is fire, and that's just one of the early game uh, structures you can build, and it just requires four sticks. So you just select it, you place it, um, and then you need to have some meat and uh, I've got a bunch of sardine sardines here that we'll use um, as long as you've got a stone tool or a knife of some sort uh, equipped you'll see you can hold the E to skin and then you'll have a piece of meat small fish meat which um, you used to need to actually kind of balance it on the fire, but now you can just hold E to attach, and it puts it over a little stick there so it can cook. Um, and then we'll just get some kindling and get this fire started. As a reminder, kindling just requires uh, two sticks. So we've got two there. Um, and we actually have a little more, but uh, then the kindling, you just equip it hold E to light as a reminder and then you're doing your left and right mouse buttons uh, that's just as a reminder I won't do this for each one and now essentially there's no like progress meter you just have to wait until it cooks so usually you know run off and do some other things um, but uh, I do want you to hear the timer so we're just gonna wait until that's ready to go All right, and that means that it's cooked. If we hover over it, you'll see cooked small fish meat or whatever type of meat that you have. Um, and you can see that it looks cooked uh, and then it's still a little bit pink, um, which we'll see the difference between that and smoked in a minute. So we'll go ahead and turn this fire off. Uh, yeah, you can't have <laughs> um, meat equipped. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. All right, and next up, we're gonna take a look at fire pit. It's a little bit redundant. You actually create the fire and then the fire pit. Um, so we'll just do that real quick. So first you create a fire. Then you have to have three rocks along with your fire. And then you just place the rocks around the fire and uh, repeat. So you will basically uh, have your meat ready. Go ahead and skin it. Oh, gross. Now, one thing I did want to point out is the meats just stack on each other. So I actually dropped mine to make sure that I know which one I've got. So there's our cooked meat. I'll leave that um, on the ground, especially if I'm working with the smoker. I'll, I'll leave the smoked meat out of my inventory. Um, but we'll show you that in a second. So then you just, same thing, rinse and repeat. All right, there's the ding. And again, we see cooked small fish meat. 
So, pretty straightforward. Um, next up, we will look at the smoker. So again, same steps, create the fire, create the fire pit. And then you're gonna need one cloth and three wooden sticks. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up. Oh, and a lashing, right? So, and then you've gotta be close enough to the fire pit for it to register. Again, you go under structures, scroll down here to smoker, one cloth, one lashing, three sticks, and then your fire pit. So you go ahead and select that. And it doesn't often place the way you want it. Um, you know, kind of depending on how your camp is laid out, you may want to rotate this. So this is the Q and E key on the PC. I'm not sure uh, what it is on the console, but I'm sure somebody can comment down below. Um, got a few extra sticks here I don't need. So uh, we've got a couple cooked small fish. I'm going to leave these over here. Now, yeah, again, this is the same problem. I've got some cooked fish and some raw fish in my inventory. So I want to make sure that I don't have my cooked fish on here. Uh, you can attach a number of pieces of meat to the smoker up here. These will actually cook and then smoke. Um, and then, um, actually I'll be right back. I'm going to get one more piece of meat to show you one other thing. All right, I'm back. And um, you can, while you're smoking, you can also cook one extra piece of meat on the fire pit here. So, <clears throat> I'm starting to sunburn. Uh, let's keep going here, just to get, just to be able to show you. Normally, you wouldn't want to do this, but uh, maybe I won't save this version. Now, uh, a lot of people have had questions about the smoker, so I did want to clear a couple of things up and let you hear it. Um, what will happen with the smoker is the meat will go through two stages, and these are all small, so they'll be a little quicker. Um, larger, the medium meat and the large meat will take longer. Um, the ringer will ding two times. This sounds slightly different, which we'll hear in a second here. Um, first, it'll progress to cooked. So you'll have cooked small fish meat on the smoker. Don't take the meat off at this point. Uh, leave it on, let it keep cooking, or smoking, I should say. And, um, you know, it will actually progress to smoked meat which won't spoil on us. This meat here, um, you know, you you can keep it for a little bit. I need three meats, so let's go ahead and eat these. Uh, but they won't keep very long. They will spoil on you. Um, so you want to have some meat that progresses all the way to uh, smoked. So this will take a little bit of time. Um, I'll come back uh, when the ringers go off so that you can hear it. Uh, and we'll take a look at how the meat progresses. Okay, there was the first ringer. So let's see, the bottom one has progressed to cooked small meat. That we can just take off. And all of these up here have progressed to cooked. Now leave them on. Uh, I definitely made this mistake um, early on. Um, but we'll just wait a little longer. You'll see that they are, you know, they are turning color here. They are darkening. Um, we'll just wait for that next timer to go off. And we can see that they are getting darker, so we are probably getting close. All right, and you uh, heard that is a little bit different, less of a bell and more of a ring. Um, and you can see now that it says smoke, smoked small fish meat or whatever kind of meat you've got. Uh, again, the bigger meats will take longer, and you just got to be patient um, and either hang out nearby or, um, oops, okay, so, uh, you know, or just come back to it every so often. So here we can see the difference. Um, you've got raw meat here, kind of pink. You've got cooked small fish meat and smoked small fish meat, which is, you know, really, really black, <laughs> nice and smoked. All right, and the last one we have here is the hobo stove. So again, you create your fire pit, and then all you, all you need extra is a piece of uh, barrel scrap here. You go to your crafting menu, select hobo stove. Um, I was worried the, the uh, barrel was actually gonna block it. And again, you can rotate it to kind of fit the layout of your camp. Grab your kindling. Get it started.
grab your meat. And um, I don't know if I'll be able to, no. So this one doesn't really have a, an emplacement. This is kind of still the way it was before. Um, you can hear, you have to place the meat on the stove. You can hear it sizzling. Um, you know, there's no slots or anything. Um, so there's no limit. Just, at least you can just, it's just what you can fit. Um, and then you'll hear multiple ringers go off, kind of indicating that it's cooked over time. Uh, I'm going to eat this, but... So that's pretty much it. We won't wait for this to go off. It sounds just like the, uh, the campfire, the fire pit and the first ring on the smoker. Uh, but these will cook up, uh, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully this helps you out um, with your cooking. Uh, and I know that um, this game, the game mechanics change a bit over time, but uh, hopefully this will hold up for a while. If you got something uh, out of it, please consider subscribing, leave a like. Um, if you have questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you back here soon.